Good morning, folk. I hope you have a safe travel on the road if you're traveling. If you're at home, keep nice and warm in this nippy weather. Today I'm going to talk from Amos and just give you a bit of background. Amos was having a, a discussion with Amaziah, a, the chief priest, about his prophesying. And we get to Amos 7 verse 14 and I'm reading from the Amplified and Amos says these words. Then Amos said to Amaziah, I was not a prophet, nor by profession, neither a son of a prophet or a scholar, but I had my occupation. I was a herdsman and a dresser of sycamore trees and a gather, uh, gatherer of sycamore fruit. The word herdsman is only quoted a few times in the Bible with Abraham and Lot and that, but it gives a wider and broader view of what he used to do. So probably cattle, a couple of sheep and, and goats or whatever, and maybe a donkey. But he was a poor man, humble man of low birth. But his name carry, he carries is called the burden bearer. Amos stands for burden bearer. And he collected these sycamore figs, this fruit. And the sycamore fruit is a yucky fruit until it's actually dressed. It carries excessive juices, that ha so they have to cut it, similar to tapping a, a, a rubber tree. Cut it, and they, all the excess bitter juices f come out, and then they sun dry it, and that fruit becomes very edible. And in, in biblical times, it, the, the fig fruit actually depicted death and salvation. And uh, we have a mirror image in Luke chapter 1, uh, chapter 19, sorry, verse 1 to 10. And it's Jesus walking along the road, a poor, humble man, low-born, and carries the name burden bearer. In the sycamore tree, we have the sycamore fruit. His name was Zacchaeus, a small, extremely bitter man, disliked by, by many, uh, scorned. You can put the words you like. And the Lord gathered him up, took him out of the tree, opened him up, and Zac all that bitter fruit and everything just flowed out of him. Now, Zacchaeus then became sun, sun dried, S O N dried, and became good fruit if you were, read the account. So, again, Zacchaeus has gone from death to salvation. And we come to today. I could not, I'd like to ask you and think about it. Who was your Amos? who took you out of the tree and brought you to the Lord from death into life. And can you recall their name? Mine was called Dorothy. The country is beginning to open up. It will not be long before the churches will be able to get together and you'll be able to fellowship. At this present time, undoubtedly, many figs are in the, tree, in the trees are ready to be opened up and brought from death to salvation. It's our job. And as I was finishing off this slightly, this little talk, the Lord dropped this into my spirit. And I think it's a bit prophetically for each one of us. Prepare the heart, plan, make ready, adjust yourself, be available, be eager, and fulfill your calling. May the Lord bless you continually. Keep safe. Amen.